Wide awake anesthesia, or volant, has become a popular option for hand surgery. The ability to use lidocaine with epinephrine has dramatically changed my practice. Although epinephrine has been proven to be safe in hand surgery, there is always concern about the possibility of epinephrine-induced vasospasm. Lidocaine with epinephrine has allowed us to move most of these local cases out of the hospital and into the office space procedure room. It allows for treatment of unique patient conditions such as renal dialysis patients and wheelchair bound patients. We would like to present a patient with epinephrine induced basal constriction following a flexor tendon repair treated with fentolamine rescue. Our patient is a 72 year old right handed rancher who lacerated his left small finger on a piece of machinery. He had numbness of the finger with loss of finger flexion. He was seen in the local ER where his wound was explored and closed. He was then referred to our office for definitive care. At that time, he had a wound on the volar aspect of the left small finger. He had no active finger flexion and there was decreased sensation in the radial digital nerve. His medical history was significant with a history of hypertension, a cardiomyopathy, a cardiac stent, aortic valve replacement, cardiac pacemaker, a history of an iliac artery occlusion, and chronic Coumadin use. His ASA score was 3. Under local anesthesia, we repaired the flexor tendon laceration along with a conduit for the radial digital nerve. The case began at 9.30 and he was discharged at 11.30 with normal circulation. At 3 o'clock that afternoon, his finger was still numb and now discolored. He was seen in the local ER 180 miles away from our hospital. There is no fentolamine available and he returned to our hospital that evening. This is his three o'clock photo showing a discolored finger with poor capillary refill. The eight o'clock picture shows the same picture with a numbness and a cool finger with poor refill. At that time we elected to proceed with a fentolamine injection, five milligrams in 10 cc's of saline. This is injected into the base of the small finger. Because of the long distance home, he was admitted overnight for observation. The following morning, his circulation was normal with good capillary refill. He was discharged as an outpatient and started an occupational therapy program three days after surgery. This is a clinical photograph, 10 weeks following surgery. His circulation was normal and he was making good progress in occupational therapy. At four months, he had good circulation and a good range of motion and had returned to work on the farm. Although rare, there have been reports of digital basal constriction following the use of lidocaine and epinephrine in the hand. Most of these cases involve some type of underlying vascular or systemic disease. The report by Zhang details a case of vasoconstriction following a trigger finger release. The patient uh, had a significant smoking history. They also reviewed the current literature regarding digital vasospasm and the use of epinephrine in the hand. This is a clinical photograph from that paper showing the digital necrosis involving the fingertips with eventual amputation of the left index and long fingers. Based on their recommendations and the literature, they suggested caution with patients with basal spastic disease such as Renaud's, peripheral vascular disease, diabetes, and recommended that the finger be injected in the palmar fat instead of the tendon sheath.
So what do you do if a patient develops basal constriction after uh, epinephrine injection? This, such as this patient who's got a carpal tunnel release and a trigger finger release. With This is the uh, helping hand is available with fentolamine. Nodwell and Lalonde study the effect of pentolamine in reversing epinephrine. The manufacturers recommend a dose is 5 to 10 milligrams and 10 mils of saline. In their paper, they used a 1 milligram per mil of saline for a total of 3 milligrams for injection. The average time of reversal of epinephrine was 85 minutes. This is a picture from the paper. On the left is the fentolamine finger injected, and the right is the saline injection. So I think if you're planning on using uh, epinephrine in the hand, you should have fentolamine available as an antidote. And as they pointed out in their paper, Narcan is an antagonist for morphine, and the same light epinephrine can be reversed by using fentolamine.